Hello, let's do a review of the Tarot Frame TL 258. There are many unboxings and uh, some few videos and I wanted to show with the components how everything fits. What we have here, as we can see, four layers is one of the advantages I think that is very good in this model. So you can have here, for example, in this first one, you can have the batteries. I have some batteries with me so we can check. I have, for example, this one of 1500 uh, milliamps. It will fit, it's quite long, but it still will fit nicely. This way, most of the batteries, even, even the big ones, will fit. This one, of course, is a little bit like uh, fat fatter, but it still will do it. And well, those are the main batteries I wanted to show you. Um, let's see more things here. For example, in this um, second layer, you can have, for example, uh, this is an Ace32 flight controller board, mini version. Uh, but I also have here a Flip32 uh, flight board controller. It's it will fit very tight, but you can find a way. The thing is, as you can see, it's very narrow, but it but it fits in here, and it also has this kind of um, sides that it will let keep it will give more room for for the board. So this way, let's, do, let's try to do this like informal test. It will close and it fits. I, I don't know if it will be visible. I will try to get it closer. But the board is there. The, ki the cables will be very narrow, but uh, still it will be okay. What it can be a problem is when you have um, right angle pins and, and, may and you try to put them like this, yeah, for sure it will not close. So this kind, this model uh, of board, I think still it's fine. Of course, not the big Ardu pilot will fit here, so forget about that. Uh, and here there is also room for the uh, radio receiver. Remember that there are two flight controllers boards here, so one of them will be gone. But uh, the thing is, this is for example from the Tournigy uh, 9X. Most of people have like this. I even added a PPM encoder here. It fits. This is with uh, this ring uh, tube. So this is about the second layer, a lot of holes here to to fit it and to put it fixed in this level. Okay, uh, next level uh, layers, this is meant to be, to install the GPS, this is a GPS. I also put in this kind of plastic or um, string tube so it takes less space. It's not so nice but okay, it's uh, smaller. And here then you can have the video transmitter yeah, with antenna. This is a big one and it still will be uh, okay here. Um, as you can see here, we've got the cables, still there is some place for the cables. You could also install, the, install it under this layer, something, let's try to do like this, you see. And this is because it still is big and you could have the antenna like this but uh, the little ones will even fit much better. Um, let's go into another feature or even for me I think it's a, a good advantage. It has this kind of uh, speed controller holders. Not all the speed controller holder, uh, controllers will fit here but uh, at least for this kind of uh, frame class most of them of this size, I think, will be will fit here. I will add the um, the link in the description of to a specific this uh, speed controller of Banggood. Um, what else about the arms? Now uh, they are 250 uh, millimeters, like this, uh, from from the center to another center of the motor. Um, so that means that we can only have five inches or below and these holes are meant to be for the tiny little motors of 
the 1800 class. Let me show you here, for example, I have another ones. Yeah, this size. So these screws are like two millimeters. Uh, so it will not fit a bigger one for sure. And as you can see, there is no so much room for a bigger motor. Actually, these ones fit, okay, still almost they are out, but it's it's okay. Um, so about the arms, the, 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 this kind of fiber carbon, I don't know how will be the quality, I couldn't fly it yet or crush it yet, uh, but I think it's quite uh, okay, I think it will be strong. Uh, it has this simple but effective and strong legs, a kind of strong foam. This thing you could remove it, it's meant to be removed, but I prefer not to do it. I made some holes so I can uh, even uh, like uh, cross through the leg and, and to keep it uh, stronger. Uh, what other things that I like? Uh, this distribution bar. It's very nice. Uh, it's going from from the front to the back, and you have places for soldering all the speed controllers, and even there are some lines for uh, connecting the mm, the signal of the speed controllers from the back to the front, and then there are some cables like these ones to connect to the board. I personally don't think I will use it, but I can use for another purpose, like for example to bring um, 5 volts, 5 volts lines, so I can connect other, other devices. Um, I think it's possible to solder some of the speed controllers inside, so actually I already did it with one, this solder, let me show you, it's solder here inside. I Add it here a connector, I think I will remove and I will also solder here the other speed controller so this line will be completely mm, naked and, and clean. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be possible on the back because here there is uh, no room for, for that and I think it will be it will be like this, but I think it's not a big issue. Um, as you can see, of course, the um, uh, XT60 connector is uh, fixed, so that's another advantage. Not all the frames uh, have it like this, so that's another good thing. Um, the plastic covers, of course, is the most uh, visible thing. That's uh, more on your personal taste. I think, in my case, is nice not only because of the looking, but uh, because it can hide a little bit the mess inside that you will have with all the cables <coughs> and all the things, because especially this kind of uh, frame which is meant to add a lot of uh, components, you will have for sure a mess of cables inside. So it's good to, to uh, hide it and, and to keep it nicer. You have, of course, you know, like most of the frames, uh, this uh, holder for the front camera, it's quite okay. You can move it if you want to do a FPV uh, usage, uh, usage. So you can do like that, like that. What else? Um, well, you don't have propellers, I think. Well, yeah, I have. Simply wanted to show you. Yeah, like that there is still good room for that. Um, which other things? Okay, so forgive me about this uh, speed controller. I didn't have a, a smaller one because it uh, burned, and I temporarily added this one. So this is what you will have it if you have a big ones uh, that they will not fit in here. So it's very narrow this place for the speed controller, uh, for the electronic speed controller, but uh, but many I think they will they will fit. Um, which other things? I think I'm, I'm almost done. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's pre-assembled. When you buy, uh, you know, you just have to to add these arms and this part. But uh, the the body, the central body, is uh, pre-assembled. But I think it's possible to unscrew and to do 
some things inside I don't know I, I will uh, let you know in the future if it's possible to hide these cables and I mean these cables because I'm crazy about that um, other thing is about the strap this is a very small disadvantage but okay it's like that because it's actually coming with this thin strap I will add it my own one I didn't have to add to, to the drill any hole it was already a big hole for that so that's nice I use it my own strap that's not a big deal which are the things okay of course you have room for the things I added here the buzzer you can use but this is you can do in most of the frame well in all the frames I think of course to, to put the cables to this um, tubes aluminium tubes tubes um, well I think that's pretty much all um, I wanted simply to show you how everything is looking I will try to get closer view this is the side the plastic it's very very thin I was expecting something bigger and stronger but mm, for the weight I think it's mm, very good at this so thin I don't know how will uh, behave with the crashes but I think uh, it's fine um, the only thing they are a little bit expensive at the moment they are like five six euros just for these plastics it would be nice if Banggood would reduce those prices even offering uh, like a couple of models in the kit I mean a couple of colors and um, that's all I don't want to get you bored I, I hope you like it uh, and, and well if you want to buy it I will invite you to, to do it through my link so you support me a little bit with my videos okay thank you have a nice day